An ancient Egyptian mud brick may have helped scientists pinpoint the date of the eruption of Thera, and it might also reshape the timeline of the beginning of the New Kingdom. Let's talk about this Egypt news. The eruption of volcano Thera was catastrophic to the island of Thera, also known as Santorini, as well as the ancient communities in the Mediterranean, especially the island of Crete. It was one of the largest volcanic events in human history, but its exact date has not been determined. Scholars have debated if it was in the late 17th or early 16th centuries BCE, which would line up to around the early 18th dynasty in ancient Egypt, between the reigns of Amos I and Tutmos III. In an attempt to get a more exact date of the eruption, a research team from the Ben-Gurion University of the Negev and the University of Groningen have radiocarbon dated a few ancient Egyptian artifacts from the British Museum and the Petrie Museum of Egyptian Archaeology. Since the ash from the volcanic eruption spread across the eastern Mediterranean, traces of it can be found in the artifacts and the environment. Now, I'm not going to pretend that I unfortunately know what radiocarbon dating is and how it works, and I will try to get through that in this video. A range of artifacts were tested in this study, including the mud brick from the Amos Temple at Abydos, located at the British Museum, a linen burial cloth for a man named Sat Jehudi, located at the British Museum, and six wooden stick shoptis from Thebes, located in the Petrie Museum. The analysis of these samples and the comparison to other radiocarbon dates of the eruption show that the massive eruption didn't actually take place in the Egyptian New Kingdom, but earlier in the Second Intermediate Period. Since these pieces all dated to the time of Pharaoh Amos, the eruption appears to have happened before he came to rule. If this is accurate, this also appears to mean that the Second Intermediate Period might actually be longer than we originally thought. Ancient Egyptian chronology is really hard to pin down sometimes because we can base it on written records for the lengths of pharaohs, radiocarbon dating, and other factors, but things change as technology advances. Intermediate periods are actually technically recent inventions by Egyptologists to help us break up the larger kingdoms that we see. The article is free online if you want to read a little bit more about this study and the comparison to other radiocarbon dates. And if you guys would want, I can try to do a summary of what radiocarbon dating is, even though it is definitely not my forte within the world of archaeology.